you'd have to take a look at the methods that they uh, produce food nowadays. If it's considered natural, this monoculture, and there's heavy pesticide application, herbicide application, uh, they till the soil a lot, so there's a lot of le leachate of all of these chemicals into our waterways and rivers and local uh, reservoirs. And they, they sort of associate in many cases with genetically modified products. So you see, for example, in the soybean business where uh, I think 90% of the market now is, is genetically modified. And that means essentially that the plants have been uh, altered in order to, to uh, accept the um, pesticides. And, uh, so what's happened, interestingly enough, of course, is that as you apply Roundup year after year and you do unit uni crops, is that the weeds begin to diversify and then they become resistant and so you then have to put uh, even in more, double the amount, up to double the amount of, of Roundup onto the, the soil. We don't need to do any of the synthetic pesticides, we don't have to do herbicides, we don't have to do any of these other chemicals that, are, that most field-based operations do and some greenhouses do, because we have a cycle that maintains quality through this. The advantage that we have is that we're just supplying water that the plants require. When I do it on the field, I spray the whole field, either the big arm irrigation system or drip irrigation system. Water percolates down through the soil profile and we lose that water. What we are supplying, we provide, and then any runoff that happens from this, we actually have a collection system which re recycles this thing. We have traveled extensively around the world, and what we're seeing now is that we're not very far away from not being able to feed our population. And all the factors that have been spoken about are, um, are part of that uh, problem. And Urban Barns has many of the solutions to this. So I think that this is extraordinary and, um, and with the combination of what is really important now and what people are asking for is how can we, how can we feed the planet, how can we save the planet, um, the answer is right here.